Hello, good morning and welcome to our first business bulletin for the day and we stay on the banking sector and the Bank of Ghana has indicated its readiness to submit names of directors of the different three banks to the security agencies for the necessary investigations. This was after the Bank of Ghana's own investigations established three banks, secured their licenses and the false pretense. The head of banking supervision of the Bank of Ghana, or CJC, tells Joy Business they have done the necessary investigations and it is up to the security agencies to act on their findings. As far as the regulator is concerned, uh, the issues have been brought up and the, we have the evidence, the reports are there and it is for the appropriate state agencies to take up the matter and based on the reports and the evidence we will give to them. Would you submit to them officially? Yeah, if, it is, if, if, if the request is made to the regulator and management deems it fit, uh, the central bank is not above the law. Mr. Jesse has also been justifying the decision to revoke the licenses of these banks, rejecting arguments that it was a political move. It's not true because uh, these are banks that uh, continue to knock at the door of the central bank for liquidity support. Uh, these are banks that we realize they are solvency uh, positions. We're deteriorating on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a, on a monthly basis. So we had no choice. It's, it's, the longer we stayed, the, the, the more expensive it was going to be uh, for the taxpayer. And, and it had, like I said, financial stability implications. On what would happen to the directors of the defunct banks, the head of banking supervision noted that all their directors cannot hold offices because those institutions have been liquidated. And then one would also ask that with respect to some of the issues that has been highlighted going forward. I get the surety from you that you've learned your lessons. It won't happen again. Uh, I have indicated to you that going forward... We the Bank of Ghana is optimistic all these would help put the entire financial system on a strong footing. Mm, I still say on the banking sector, and a former employee of Capital Bank, Raymond Adai Dankwa, has warned current workers of the Consolidated Bank to be on guard despite assurance from the Bank of Ghana that no one will lose their job at the moment. Following the measure, over 800 UT and Capital Bank employees lost their job last year in a similar incident. The fate of thousands of workers hung in the balance as five banks, Sovereign, Beige, Construction, Royal and Genie Bank have been merged into one. Almost a year ago, some 800 workers of defunct UT and Capital Bank suffered a similar fate leading to the loss of their jobs. Although the Bank of Ghana has assured there will be no job loss now, a former worker of Capital Bank, Raymond Ade Dankwa, has warned workers of the five banks to be prepared for any outcome. The advice I'll give them is they should just try to, first of all, be ready for anything. They will promise them that they will not, there will not be any um, loss of job. But to me, frankly speaking, it is not true. Because you see, now when you look at the banking industry, because of competition, you see branches um, confined within some particular area. So you have a branch over here, and then you see another bank over there. So in such instances, more of the branches will be closed. So therefore, you, 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 once the branch is closed, you have no business being maintained. So probably, yes, if only they would do what we call any skills assessments and then take certain things into consideration. But definitely most of them will lose their job. So they should just try to be ready for anything. Most of the affected workers are yet to receive their exit pace and this, Raymond says, has made life unbearable. When they took over, we were assured. There was even a staff there, but we were assured of our jobs. If for any reason, and they, they are sure there will be, if for any reason, um, after six months, and then they will come out with 
uh, they would have done this is, um, skills assessment and then we'll know where we'll be placed so that there wouldn't be any duplication of jobs. But just after a month of takeover, some colleagues of ours were sacked. I think they lay about 200 people off, that's duty and capital bank. And we are in August, I think 12 days more, and it will be one year. It's been very, very, very hectic. Like I told you earlier, we've lost two, we've lost two colleagues of ours as a result of this hardship. Now, some branches of all five collapsed banks opened to business yesterday at 1 p.m. after the measure under the new Consolidated Bank Limited. Charles IT witness and was our man on the ground. Let's go for this Vox Pop. It's been barely 24 hours since the Bank of Ghana consolidated five struggling banks in the country. All soon, Ghanaians are expressing concern over this development as many of them say the confidence they had in the banking sector previously is currently dwindling following this development. Well, Joy Business caught up with some of them and their reactions and interactions are somewhat interesting. Yeah, and panic, which our authorities have to wake up and do something about it. Mm. Because imagine you saving with a bank and the following day you go like, oh, your money is not there. Where are you running to? <laughs> For me, if I have enough money, I'll go and dig some hole, then put my money inside. Because you don't trust the bank? Yes, I don't trust any bank. Mm. What about you? Would you keep oh. saving the bank or you'd rather oh. take a home? Uh, saving in a bank, yeah, I think yes, because because of the arm robbers in town now, because you don't know when it will get to your turn. Mm. So at least it's good to save in the bank, but sometimes there are policies. Mm. Uh, it's our problem. If five banks have gone down so far, how concerned are you as you know a Ghanaian? In fact, we are we are we are serious concerned about it. Why? Because during the day after your working, that is where you send your money, and if such things are going in the town then definitely you always feel afraid to send your money to the bank. What I even advise myself is that I'll look at the age of, like I'll compare my age to maybe uh, look at the other banks that grew past me so that I can, but banks that start from five, three years, I advise myself and I will not save on those banks. Based on what happened yesterday and previously, do you think saving in the bank, from your perspective, is a safe way to go? I don't think. I don't think. I think I would rather find another way of maybe saving my money than even sending it to these banks. So it's scary, honestly. But the Bank of Ghana is telling us that even if you are a customer to these banks, your money is are safe. You don't trust what the Bank of Ghana is telling us? I don't trust them because today they will change BOG, the next uh, what do you call it? Then next time they will change BOG. He also come out with different policies. So how are you going to trust them? Now saving in the banks, I don't think it's the best place for us to save our money. Bank of Ghana, what they are saying, they work the same line with the small small banks that are collapsing. Oh, I don't know working hand in hand with them. So if imagine the small ones are collapsing and they are telling me that I should still have trust in them, I don't think. I have a much more hope that my my money is protected. Yeah. So you save with banks based on the confidence you have in them? Yes, sir. But based on what has happened now, is your confidence still as it is back then? Mm, yeah. Well, so far, the Bank of Ghana has given the assurance that the monies of all clients of all these affected banks are safe. But based on this... Interesting submissions out there, but that's how we end business this morning. There's more business news at 12.30. My name is Sandra Esenamafeno.